Welcome to Post Apocalypse Now. Here we have our main menu and our credits. And this is everyone that's worked on the game, all their jobs. We have a settings menu with volume control, which we still have yet to implement. Then we get into the game proper, the play button. Here we have our story, Post Apocalypse Now. Four wanderers trying to survive dragged into an arena by a robot overlord who reign over the wastelands forced to fight and kill each other for their entertainment, resurrecting them each death to enjoy their suffering even more. The one to kill the most will be awarded their freedom if the machines allow it. And this is great, this is written by Luke. Here's our character select screen, which is still here to implement with the uh, art there by Pax, it's fantastic. The control scheme, we have gamepad controls. We're considering keyboard controls, but we may remove them. Then we're into the gameplay. So this is our first level. It's a desert level and we have a train that we're all jumping around on and these floating platforms. Uh, it's really good fun, we get to bash each other, chase each other around. The characters float on little hoverboard type things uh, and they have weapons we can bash each other with. Uh, when you get hit, your sprite will flash red and you will get knocked back as well, which is pretty cool. And we've also implemented some rumble for the controllers, which is great. It really gives like, a good sense of feedback when people are playing. And then upon death, the player who dies explodes and uh, the player left behind gets a point, which is stored internally. And as there are three rounds, there can never be a draw and uh, the players battle it out. First one to uh, the best of three <laughs> is what it is. On this level, we went for a water theme, a uh, boat in the middle of the ocean, and uh, it's raining. <laughs> then we go into the jungle scene where we have poison platforms again that we can get up to a more elevation. And we have a dense jungle background, just scrolling, giving us a sense of movement. Uh, it's got some really fun little obstacles and stuff that we can go around. You can hit each other through the platforms, which is cool. And there we go. So, winner, player one. And then to complete the gameplay loop, back to the main menu.